Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to execute an SEO function with timer trigger. I will try to bring in all the triggers and execute them using SEO functions. Then I will proceed further creating another videos for this AZ203 developing for Microsoft solutions. So hang on and subscribe to this channel and let's log on to the portal to continue. I am logged inside the portal. I'm going to create a resource. Oh, wait a second. I'm going to change in my subscription here. This is my last visited directory. Took me to learn.microsoft.com, the by default directory that gets created when you have an Azure subscription. So it's integrated to all the portals. If you use Azure pipelines, if you use, like I use uh, the Knowledge Maker, QA Maker for Azure bots, it gets created. So I'm going to click on create a resource. I am going to select compute. Under compute, I'm going to select function app. You're quite familiar with this now, out of now, so you should know the steps. I'm still creating it so that you know how to do it. Enter test assert function app. It should be globally unique identifier. Create a new resource group. Select the OS as Windows, hosting plan as consumption plan. Location would be central US. Runtime would be that. Oh, we can go with the dot. Nah. Storage account, use existing test as storage. Okay. Application insights. I should turn it off as of now for this lecture. Disable it. Click on create. And I'll be back when it's done. All right, the deployment has been succeeded. Let me go to the resource. Here it comes. All right, click on the plus sign, create new. And it says Azure functions for .NET getting started. Come here in portal. This is the author function is quickly in the portal. Click on here, click on continue. If I bring it down. Okay, click on continue. A function that will be run on a specific schedule. Timer, create. It will come up. It will be a cron scheduler. So if you will click on manage. Functions need enabled timer trigger. See this timer date time dot now. Click on integrate. Time step parameter name my timer schedule. This is a cron scheduler. So if you enter a cron expression of the format second minute, hour, day, month second minute hour day month to specify the schedule so you can type in any schedule here and that will be the timer's trigger you want to delete the timer trigger delete it as per your wish if you want to you want to add a timer trigger add it from here timer Integrate new timer, timer, select my timer, add it here, click on save. 
and if you want to manage the function click on manage if you want to disable the state of the function you can click on disabled and the function state would be disabled this is how you set up a timer triggered function i'll come up with more scenarios till next time have a good day and do not forget to subscribe to this channel I'll hit the like button thank you